Hey moms, you've made it. This is week six workout. Thanks for joining me, Erica Ziel. So this week, again, we're gonna do some little jumps. So if you're not ready to jump, just follow me with the modifications, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to have a mat with you so we can do some modified and full planks and your light weights again. So let's start with our legs parallel together. Squeeze them together. Shoulder blades are back. Think about sinking your rib cage. Let's just go down into a couple deep squats to get you started. Get as low as you can. And then we're gonna lift and rotate. Think about sinking your rib cage, warming up those abs. Scoop your belly in and lift up. Down, exhale, lift. Really squeeze those legs together. Think about scooping underneath as you go up versus pressing up. Just with your arms, you don't want these to go into your neck. And reach, let's go for eight. Exhale, seven, six. Try to rotate farther, try to get lower. Four, three, two, and last one. Okay, let's put those weights off to the side. Now we're gonna go into some lunge jumps, but I want you to first follow me with a modification of a more basic lunge, and then if you're ready, follow me through into the jumps. So keeping one leg forward, other leg's gonna reach back, you need to tap and then lift. Keeping this other leg softly bent, that's gonna help you with your balance. Lift. Let's try two more before we get to the jumps, or you can keep doing these, okay? Last one here. Then when we go to jump, you gotta really power through with this front leg. Lift, back. It's a lot of balance. And back, eight, seven. You don't have to lift high. Your toe can actually still touch the ground if you want. Okay, five, and back, four. Exhale, three, last one. Okay, good job, shake that leg out. Get your breath for a second, we'll switch sides. So I gotta flatten the sand out here, or I can't stand up straight. Okay, so let's go into a lunge. Basic lunge back, opposite leg forward. Do the modification first back, lift, two, remember keep doing these if you're not ready to jump, and let's go in and jump, reach, back, nice and slow, reach, seven, and six, good, four, those legs should be getting tired, one more, Whew. Awesome. Whew. Shake those legs out. We're going to go into the next one, which is going to give your heart rate up a little bit. Okay, so this next one are the little jump twists. And if you're not ready to do the jump twist, I want you to do the initial one, which is down, lift, and rotate. Okay? This is what you're doing if you're not going to jump. Otherwise, I want you to follow me into some jump twists. So, lay arms together. You're going to start at a twist to the side. Lift, down, really jump with those legs. Rotate with your torso. Use those abs to help you here. Exhale up, relax those shoulders. Power with those legs. Use those abs, let's go for 10 more. Nine, eight. Good, four more, and lift. Last set here, oh, okay. Whew. Now that your heart rate's up, I'm gonna have you grab your mat and we're gonna roll it out. And we're gonna go into some plank work. Okay, so now, remember, I know we've written some stuff about the whole abdominal separation. So if you're just newly had a baby and you know you have abdominal separation, you're just not ready for planks, Go ahead and you can do another leg exercise instead. Otherwise, if you're starting out, you know you can do a little ab work. I want you to do these modified to start with, okay? So, you're gonna be on your forearms. You can always start up a little higher right here. Then you're gonna sink your rib cage, tuck your hips, and you're gonna hold it here, okay? Really feel like you're drawing your rib cage together, scooping your belly to your spine, tucking your hips, squeeze your butt a little bit. Good, now if you can really feel your abs working here and it's too easy for you, I want you to tuck and you're gonna come up. And we're gonna do little plank slides forward and back. 
Good. If at any time you need to drop back down, drop down, forward and back. Feel like you're trying to stretch those calves out. Exhale, forward. Let's go for 10, nine, tuck those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. Let's release. Do a little child's pose here quick to stretch out your back. And then let's come up and we're gonna flip over and do some dips. So, modification for this. If these are too hard, I want you to keep your knees bent and do it together. Squeeze your butt, you're gonna lower, lift. Do a couple of those. Otherwise, follow me. Extend this front leg, you're gonna lower and squeeze for eight, seven, press six, four more, three, two, Last one, put that leg down, hop down, take a quick break, reach forward, and then let's go back. Switch legs, come on up, reach that back leg, lower and lift, squeeze that leg. Good, six, five, squeeze those triceps. Got three, two, and one, and release. Okay, let's come up from there, and let's stretch you out. Let's go ahead and do a standing hip stretch. So, you're gonna take one leg across. Again, if you need to, hang on to something to help you balance. Go down, reach. If you can, take your arms behind you, get a little extra chest stretch. Ooh, and then come on up, switch legs. And switch. Go down, hold that stretch, open up those hips. Stretch out your chest. And then come up. And we'll do a standing quad stretch. Pull up on those abs. Relax your shoulder back. And switch. Good, it's good to go and do these stretches. Gives you a chance to cool down. And then if you're ready, I want you to go back through. Do this very challenging workout another one to three times. And remember, hashtag your workouts with P in Meg, six weeks.